वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन जेड पैरामीटर कैलकुलेशन सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग इंटरेस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इन विच वी नीड टू फाइंड जेड पैरामीटर्स now as if you have simple t network or pi network then by solving two equations we can directly calculate z parameters but here you cannot have that as you see this network is bit complex so here we need to follow standard process in which what we need to do is first we need to keep port 2 open circuit so as if port 2 is open circuit what will happen i2 will be zero as if i2 is zero in that situation this v2 by i1 that will be z21 that is our forward transfer z parameter and v1 by i1 that is z11 that will be input impedance of this network after that we will be providing port 1 as open circuit in that case i1 will be 0 and then we'll be calculating v1 by i2 that is z12 which is our reverse transfer impedance and then we will calculate v2 by i2 that is z22 which is port 2 impedance or you can say output impedance so that is what we need to do and let me explain you how to do that for this circuit step by step so first i'll be considering this port 2 as open circuit now you see we are having same network which i have redrawn from here now in this i'll be keeping port 2 as open circuit so this port is open circuit so what is the meaning of it it means i2 will be zero over here right now if i2 is zero what will happen in this branch current will be same as here there is no current you can consider this as a single branch and in this branch here we are having voltage v2 right and this v1 that is happening over here now to have the relation of v1 and i1 and v2 and i1 i'll be considering current so let us say this current that is i dash and this current is i double dash and let us apply kcl at node v1 so entering current is equals to leaving current here entering current is i1 and i dash so i1 plus i dash leaving current that is i double dash now i1 that we need to have in this equation what is i dash so you see i dash is happening in this branch so that is tail voltage minus head voltage right tail voltage is 3v1 minus head voltage is v1 divided by resistance so 3v1 minus v1 divided by resistance that is 1 plus 1 so that is 2 and i double dash that is tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is v1 so v1 divided by 2 that is i double dash now we can simply identify relation of i1 and v1 so i1 is equals to now i'm taking v1 common here divided by 2 this 1 minus 1 over this side that will be plus 1 plus 3 over this side that will be minus 3 and i can say i1 is equals to v1 into 2 minus 3 so that is minus 1 by 2 so that is minus half so i can say v1 by i1 that is z11 and that is minus 2 ohm and this is also referred as input impedance of this given network right now here second agenda is to identify relation of v2 and i1 so what is v2 first of all so see v2 is simply current i dash into this resistance so i dash into resistance is 1 now you see current i dash is going inside the node so v2 is equals to minus i dash into resistance right now what is i dash so i dash i have already explained 
that is 3v1 minus v1 by 2 how tail voltage minus head voltage so minus 3v1 minus v1 by 2 that is i dash so i can say that this v2 that is 2 v1 by 2 so that is minus v1 so now i got the relation of v1 and v2 right now we already have v1 by i1 so i can have v2 by i1 how see v2 is minus v1 by i1 and v1 by i1 that is minus 2 so minus 2 into minus that will be plus 2 ohm and that is what v2 by i1 means z21 and this is referred as forward transfer impedance of this circuit now in second case what we will do is we will keep this port 1 as open circuit so now what i'll do is i'll keep this port 1 open circuit so what it means this i1 will be 0 so this v1 that will be voltage at this node and this v2 that will be voltage at this node right now as this i1 is 0 what will happen here whatever current that is happening in this branch that will go inside this branch like this let us say this current is i dash and over here let us say current is i double dash so first what we will do is we will apply kcl at node v2 so if you apply kcl at node v2 entering current is equals to leaving current entering current is i2 and leaving current is i dash plus i double dash now i2 that is equals to i dash now what is i dash i dash is tail voltage minus head voltage now you see here tail voltage that is v2 right and head voltage that is minus 3v1 so minus minus plus will happen so plus 3v1 that i need to write divided by total resistance of this branch so that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus i double dash so that is tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is v2 minus head voltage is ground divided by 1 right so i can have i2 that is equals to now let us simplify this so v2 by 3 plus 1 so that is 4 by 3 v2 plus 3 by 3 v1 means it is v1 so this is very essential equation which we have right now let us say this is equation 1 now what we want is we wanted to have relation in between v1 and v2 right so what i'll be doing is i'll be considering kcl at node v1 now this is quite tricky you see here same current is passing through this branch so how to consider kcl so for that let me separately consider current over here let us say current over here that is i p and current over here that is i q you can consider both are same right so i can say if you consider kcl at node v1 then i p is equals to i q now what is ip so you see tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is v2 3v1 and head voltage is v1 so v2 plus 3v1 minus v1 divided by resistance that is 1 that is equals to iq that is tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is v1 divided by 2 so now based on this we can have relation in between v1 and v2 so let us take two cross multiplication so here there will be 2v2 plus 2v1 into 2 so that will be plus 4v1 is equals to v1 so i can say that 2v2 that is equals to v1 minus 4v1 so that will be minus 3v1 so here i can consider that v2 is equals to minus 3 by 2 v1 right 
now I'm having v2 in terms of v1 I can place that in this right so let us say this is equation 2 and let us substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so what will happen i2 is equals to 4 by 3 v2 that is minus 3 by 2 v1 plus v1 so this 3 will get cancelled this 2 will make it to 2 minus 2 plus v1 so i can say i2 is equals to minus v1 so based on that i can say v1 by i2 that is z12 that is reverse transfer impedance and that is equals to minus 1 ohm right now we already have v1 by i2 we have relation of v2 and v1 so i can have v2 by i2 also so v2 is minus 3 by 2 v1 so i can say minus 3 by 2 into v1 by i2 and v1 by i2 is minus 1 so minus minus will make it to plus 3 by 2 that is 1.5 and that is z22 right so that is how we have output impedance so here you just need to understand how to solve kvl and kcl equations right and for that you will have to do practice see it is not like i am solving it in this way and in same way you will be getting answers directly it is highly essential to do practice and that's why by animations i am showing by polarity how to write equations i have seen students are doing minor mistakes only they are just doing silly mistakes like plus 2 minus and minus 2 plus and that is why they are not getting answer correctly every time so the purpose of this video is to understand how to apply rules right it is not like uh, by same way you will be getting same answer it is not the case there are many ways to solve same questions right it is just a case of how you apply rules of kvl and kcl i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video